buddies. They are, everyone has. Guys and girls have buddies. Yeah. They, every, I'm, almost everyone I know has had one in the past. If you could make a thousand dollars an hour beating guys off. Yeah. It started as like a. Did you know that there are some very controversial comments recently made by Joe Rogan about the secret homosexual culture in Hollywood? According to Rogan, older, more established actors and mentors pressure new young actors into inappropriate gay relationships and encourage fake behavior. Rogan claims the results in a buildup of wrath and resentment in these actors, eventually turning them into villains and tyrants in the industry. Let's break down these shocking allegations by Rogan and see what evidence there is to back them up. Rogan's Initial Comments on a recent podcast, Rogan claimed that when he first came to Hollywood, he was perplexed when older actors wanted to be friends with him. Rogan assumed they must be gay because he couldn't understand why older male actors would want to be friends with a young man like himself otherwise. In Rogan's own words, when Joe wanted to be friends with me, I was like, you must be gay. Like, why would you want to be friends with another man? That didn't make sense to me. When Joe wanted to be friends with me, I was just like, oh, he must be gay. Like, why would you want to be friends with another man? That didn't make <laughs> sense to me. And then Joe never tried to kiss me once. Rogan went on to say that while these older mentors never made direct advances on him, he believes inappropriate behavior was rampant, based on rumors he heard with older actors sleeping with young, up-and-coming talent. Rogan asserted, It came out he was banging the guy with the big cube, just like some secret, so it's gone on forever and ever. He goes, but it's nothing, it's mostly just a place where guys hang out. Didn't they say that he f***ed everybody, men and women? Oh yeah, he banged everybody. He f***ed everybody. Yeah, and then it came out he was banging the guy with the big Cube. It's like some secret sh** has gone on forever and ever. He goes, but it's nothing. It's mostly just a place where guys hang out. Essentially, Rogan is claiming there is a widespread culture of older Hollywood men taking advantage of young male actors, pressuring them into sexual relationships behind the scenes. Jaguar writes distributing allegations. But Rogan is not the only one making these disturbing claims. Singer Jaguar Wright, who has inside industry knowledge from her time as an R&B recording artist, also accused older Hollywood mentors of forcing young talent into weird sexual activities under the guise of helping their careers. Wright pointed to a specific example of actor Bryshear Gray, who was mentored early on by Will Smith and his wife Jada Pinkett Smith. According to Wright, Gray once ran screaming from the Smith's house due to the inappropriate behavior he was allegedly pressured to take part in. In Wright's words, they're both bisexual. They do a lot of weird stuff in their house. There's young men coming out of their house screaming, running down the street. Wright argues that this pattern of older couples using their status to take advantage of young actors is an open secret in Hollywood. Disturbing Kevin Spacey Allegations The accusations against Kevin Spacey that emerged during the hashtag MeToo movement seem to align with the claims being made by Rogan and Wright. When actor Anthony Rapp came forward in 2017 accusing Spacey of making sexual advances towards him when he was only 14 years old, many others began sharing similar stories of Spacey preying on them as young actors. Many of Spacey's alleged male victims say they were young performers when Spacey abused his position as an established actor to put them in compromised sexual situations. For example, one man named Chris Nixon claimed he was only 14 when Spacey attempted to grope him while he was working as an extra on House of Cards. This pattern of older mentor figures in Hollywood exploiting their influences to take advantage of the young male talent hoping to get ahead maps directly onto what Rogan and Wright argued is happening behind the scenes across the industry grooming young stars for abuse. According to Joe Rogan, this inappropriate behavior results in a buildup of resentment and anger in these young actors, which ends up twisting their psyches as they gain more status and clout. In Rogan's words, could make it they becoming nightmares because they want to punish people for all those years they were insecure, for all those years they weren't getting picked. Both Rogan and Wright argue that because these young men have been coerced or manipulated into inappropriate relationships without their consent, it breeds lasting trauma and rage. As these young actors gain more power in the industry, the past abuse can then turn them into bitter tyrants on set, lashing out at others due to their pent-up anger over being taken advantage of. This seems evident in the example of Bryshear Gray, who despite early mentorship by the Smiths ended up arrested multiple times for domestic abuse allegations. Entertainment industry environment allows abuse. The entertainment industry has often been criticized for enabling this kind of inappropriate behavior due to the immense power imbalance between established Hollywood players and up-and-coming performers desperate for their big breaks. Many argue that the cutthroat nature of the industry leads vulnerable young actors to remain silent about any misconduct, believing it's the only way to advance their careers. This creates the perfect environment for the kind of systemic, ritualized abuse described by Joe Rogan and Jaguar Wright. 
For young gay actors especially, there is pressure not to speak out for fear of being outed before they are ready. This makes them even more susceptible to the manipulation of predatory men. Actor Anthony Rapp's Story one of the most prominent cases that seems to confirm this pattern of abuse is that of actor Anthony Rapp. Rapp, known for his role in Rent, came forward with allegations against Kevin Spacey in 2017. Rapp claims that back in 1986, when he was just 14 years old, Spacey made inappropriate sexual advances towards him after a party. Although Rapp rejected Spacey's advances, he says he has had to live with the trauma of that encounter for decades. According to Rapp, Spacey abused his position as an older, more established actor to try and take advantage of Rapp when he was just a child actor, hoping to make it in Hollywood. Rapp explains that the avalanche of sexual abuse allegations against Harvey Weinstein is what finally gave him the courage to speak out about his own experience as a young teen targeted by Hollywood Predator. Rap story seems to confirm the systemic pattern of older men exploiting and grooming underage talent that Rogan and Wright argue has been silently accepted in Hollywood for far too long. Other young victims speak out. Since rap came forward, other young actors have also began sharing their own troubling stories and experiences. For example, Alex Winter, known for Bill and Ted, revealed that he was abused as an 11-year-old child actor, saying, I don't know of any boys in any pocket of the entertainment industry that do not encounter some form of predatory behavior. It's not a safe environment. Charlie Carver from Teen Wolf also alluded to experiencing misconduct, saying it's an award show. I'm not a stranger to it. This will hopefully open up discussions about men in power dynamics in general. These kinds of stories lend credence to the notion that sexual misconduct against young male actors is much more widespread than commonly acknowledged. Gay Actors Face Added Pressure For gay actors in Hollywood, there is an added layer of pressure that makes it even harder to speak out about harassment. Many worry that coming forward will lead to being involuntarily outed before they are ready. Anthony Rapp has said that as an openly gay actor, he feels a sense of responsibility to speak out about his experiences to help combat the stigma suffered by gay victims of assault. But stories from less famous gay actors show why so many remain silent, seeking justice. While none of the accused Hollywood figures have been convicted in criminal court, the sheer volume of allegations indicate a wider problem exists. Many are hoping this attention will lead to a full independent investigation of sexual misconduct against young male actors to determine just how pervasive it has been behind the glitzy facade of Hollywood. Men like Anthony Rapp, who have bravely come forward, deserve to have their stories fully heard. If crimes were committed, their perpetrators must be held accountable, no matter how powerful. The days of treating young actors like fresh meat for Hollywood's machine needs to end. Concrete steps must be taken to protect the next generation of male talent trying to chase their dreams. Male victims deserve to have their voices heard and their trauma acknowledged. Their pursuit of justice and healing should be fully supported as more dark secrets come to light. Let us know your thoughts on these allegations in the comments. And be sure to like and subscribe for more content analyzing the dark side of Hollywood. Thanks for watching.